Look at all these Hummers. What kind of jerk would drive one of those? Dude, this car kicks ass, and I can watch uh, uh, while I'm driving. <laughs> Dude, those animals are so fucking funny. They make me emerge without wing. Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash, and in this Road to Elite Smash, we're still doing another character from a single series, as last time we got in Ness, the boy wonder with a lot of PSI, and finishing off the Earthbound series, I think I said mother last time, but either one works. Now, the character that we're doing from the single series is one you wouldn't expect to be in Smash, another oddball of the bunch, but I think he's actually a very underrated character and has a lot of potential. So with that, we're actually going to be playing Duck Hunt today. And I think Duck Hunt is a lot underrated as a character. He isn't that high on the tier list, but I think he has a lot of potential with some nice setups. Uh, this skin is just okay, but I actually really gravitate towards the yellow dog and green duck skin. His skins are alright. The Dalmatian one's cool. Let's see what we can do with this yellow dog. Alright, looks like we have Steve up first, and that could be a pretty rough matchup for us, but Three, I think it once I show you Duck Hunt's moveset, you'll be a little bit more reassured. So that is his camp. Frame 1, by the way, is a combo breaker, is very essential to his toolkit, and that nair is pretty strong. Got some good grabs, got some good tilts, got some overall decent moves all around. So yeah, if you press neutral B while the can is active, it can keep going. It can keep going for a while. It's a pretty good, great for projectile, as you can see. But as it starts to smoke, it, it is going. To, that means it's going to explode. Uh, it's Clay Pigeon. I will also talk about that in just a little, little bit. Nice back air. And we're just pushing the can around the field, as you can see with our other moves. You can do that. And you got to be careful, though, because the can can also hit Duck Hunt. So it's sort of like uh, Kinky DD's Gordo, but we do hit the kill with that up air just like that. And that is one of the very few wild gunmen that Duck Hunt can call at any time. There is... It's pretty random which ones are called at any given time. That was a really close one. Anvil almost dropping at us, but we're still living at 164, so... Let's see if... I like trains. Uh, unfortunately. I did try to use the uh, clay pigeon to dodge against the minecart, but... Alright, Steve's gonna camp us out, we can get him with the camp like that, get him with another up air to 78, and back up, hit him with the F smash to get him, and just dead, like that. So yeah, another one, I'll talk a little more about the gunman as uh, the least smash run goes on, but for the most part, they're kind of useful, they have different properties, just like a lot of other characters having different properties. Gotta be careful about the minecart though, he does have gold in it, and does now have the diamond tools, so gotta be careful, we gotta kill him fast, and, but we did- Gentlemen. That was textbook. Get that son of a bitch out of my sight. It's such an amazing bait. Getting in the gunman to take the minecart damage and hitting him with the up smash just to take him out just like that. And already, just kicking the bucket for Steve. Alright, looks like we have Rosalina up next, and that's another one of those matchups that just don't seem very good for Duck Hunt, especially with Rosalina's down B like that. It really validates our can, our clay pigeon, and even the gunman to an extent, because we're just getting tossed around like right now. But we can at least do some good damage. We're still living at 180 to back row from center stage, so trying to get Luma out of there. And uh, unfortunate. Unfortunately, his recovery is very good, we just were a little too low. But we do retaliate with that F smash, doing a very nice job getting the can on the field. Remember, gunman. I feel like we've gotten that one the most. He is the slowest of the bunch, and there's a bunch of other gunmen you can get that are either slow, but have, have uh, benefits to them, such as having a stronger huh? shield, and oh, look at that! Nice bait with the can, getting her to uh, absorb it, allowed her to be too slow for the cover. Uh, that is the second slowest, I believe, but I do have a table right above there that shows you all the properties of the gunmen despite whether we get them or not, which I think we'll have a chance to. We've gotten one of them already like three times. Alright. So yeah, that was the most powerful of the bunch. Alright, nice. So we're gonna get the kids, but that's all we're hard point locked down. We want we really want that down air. His down air isn't that strong, but we got him really deep, so in living the 166 of that second stock, just a nice kick to the stars. Ooh, alright, another fox. We had a fox last time. We're gonna see how aggressive this fox will be. And if he's Go! actually good with what he says. Alright, so yeah, we even saw that the can just protected us just like that. Did have a trade, but honestly got him off our back pretty fast. 
I'm not really getting much of those smash attacks besides uh, F smash and up smash. I did do down smash earlier. Let's see if we can just roll behind. And there we go. Get him with that F smash. The last hit doing it very, very well, being the strongest. Similar to like Cloud's F smash. Ooh, alright. I almost thought he died there. He went really deep, but box recovery is really good. And yes, the smash ball is on. At least the final smash meter. So, gotta be careful. But Duck Hunt's final smash is pretty good. Ooh, looks like he caught us on the roll, so we're gonna unfortunately have to die here. But we're at 158. Gets us to 185. It doesn't really matter. And it just resets us to about half, where Foxes is completely drained and he has to wait a lot while longer. And so far, we're in the lead, but just gotta make sure that we capitalize on that lead. Alright, another play pitch. So if you do press E while you're doing it, as we do get our final smash meter right back up, let's see if we can aim it just right. Why don't you do some little spacing, then we can run up to him and get him just like that. Nice. Gets all the gunmen involved, all the bush, the wonderful world of Duck Hunt just takes blocks <laughs> out like that and gets a little, little, little laugh at the end. Another can on the field. Gets him to explode like that. Nice. And the good thing with Duck Hunt's F smash is you can just use it to space it really effectively. Oh, uh, unfortunate trade there. Did go for forward air to block his incoming back air, but was a little too slow there. And that's one of the gunmen that I haven't gotten yet. Alright, moving that can around the field. Ooh, almost got him there. Very, very close. And the can's about to explode, so... Well, when we get our final smash back again, let's see if we can finish it off with that final smash. See if we can run it. Ooh, a little bit short there. Fox really was able to outrun it there. We get the clay pigeon. Almost get him with the up air. Alright. Gotta be careful, though. We're in kill percent range right now. Oh, are we still against this? Fox is filthy, but just three shots from kitchen gun. The F smash, and we get him with the F smash. Very, very close. One to finish him off that final smash, but, you know, we got at least one hit on him and showed us the power of Duck Hunts. Alright, last match before Elite Smash, and... Uh-oh. Three minutes, two, two stocks on a one. Samus... Crumpled up, torn slightly, soaked in a lagoon, and kissed with coral blue number two semi-gloss lipstick. Bandits on oh. Battlefield. This isn't gonna be good. Even his name being Nice, nice Try. I think what he is predicting is that he'll just time us out and win in sudden death, but hopefully we can get some faster action going on, because Duck Hunt can actually play range really well, obviously with his cannon, Clay Pigeon dominating, and the gunman as well, but it, Samus, with a charge up that does 30% fully charged, it's going to be really hard to get in with Duck Hunt, with his moves not really doing too much damage, but yeah, he's there doing some good work, dash back as well. Alright, so yeah, unfortunately dying to that F smash, we only have one stock now, with about minute 55 left, so really want to make it last as long as it can, I'm dead. and hopefully not die, but luckily the gunman taking the hit for us. So yeah, trying to get him that up air, but you know how online Samus is are. Let's see if we can get him with another one. Alright, we got Samus with one more. Minute 30 left, and we're both down to one stock, so it's still anybody's game getting that can out. Alright, still very, very close on hitting those cans. Haven't really gotten a nice snipe with one yet. It's just a little bit off as the can expires. Alright, shield against the death attack. And 20 seconds left, it's... I mean, I'm at kill percent. Samus, I think if we get one good at, uh, smash attack, but, you know, 10 seconds left, I think the best thing to do is just go to the top platform and wait it out, and hopefully we get something good in sudden death, because Samus is not budging at all, so we'll hold shields and be careful. Oh, wait a minute, what are we going? Humiliation. Search and destroy. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! We did it! The very last second, got him with the up smash, Try to time us out, but you can't do that to the master of Duck Hunt. Wow, what a nail-biting finish from Duck Hunt right there. I did not expect that Duck Hunt was going to clutch it up in the last second with that up smash. You know, we've had a little bit of trouble hitting that up smash and down smash at all of his smash attacks. But yeah, I definitely thought that game was going to time and sudden death was going to be a bit of a nightmare there because of Samus's move set, but Wow, I'm, I'm still in shock that we managed to clutch that out. And the other characters that we faced against were definitely not going easy on us. So we got Steve, Rosalina, Fox again. And Duckman was just proving that the power of teamwork with a dog and a duck and a couple gunmen, that you can do anything, even get Elite Smash. I think Duck Hunt was actually a really fun character to play. I love the mobility of the can and just pushing it around with not just his neutral B, but his other moves as well. Really gets you to use his other moves 
in ways that a lot of just get the can to the other person. Clay Pigeon, also great for setups. Didn't really use it too much, but we got some nice conversions like Clay Pigeon up into up air. And the Gunman, also really the MVP of this, taking hits like against Steve and Samus. And yeah, they just did their job really well, and I gotta say, really enjoyed it, and was a lot of fun, would very much do it again. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to leave a like down below, and blast that subscribe button! And I will see you guys in the next video, and until then, peace out, and make it a great day, everyone.